Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Sadhah Chazra and today we would be discussing merge short on a doubly linked list. So as the name says, you are given a doubly linked list and you need to sort that doubly linked list in the sorted order and reverse sorted. Okay, fair enough. So we need to do merge short over here. So let us first have a quick recap of what merge short is all about. Merge short is all about divide and conquer. What we basically do is that we, let's say we are given a set of numbers that is four, two and three, one. So what we would do is we would first divide and then try to conquer it. What do I mean by this Siddharth? So I meant this, that first four, two, three, one. So I would divide them into two pairs. The very first pair would be 4, 2 and the very next pair would be 3, 1. Then they would be 4 and 2. Again, we would divide it into two pairs. They would be divided as 4 and 2. So they would be divided as 4 and this would be divided as 2. And the same goes for this. This would be divided as 3. This would be divided as 1. Now, if you observe, in the end, we have a single element. Like this is not the end of course. So a single element is always a sorted element. And we use this property that the smallest bit is already sorted. So now when we join the bits again, we just join it in a sorted manner. Okay. There goes like if I join 4 and 2 again, it would be reciprocated as 2 and 4. When I join one, 3 and 1, it would be something as 1, 3. Now, again, we divided these into two halves. So now 2 and 4 and 1 and 3 needs to be joined. So this would join as 1, 2, 3, 4. Like we are joining them in the sorted manner. Fair enough. Now, if you observe over here, the main, the crux of merge shot lies in two important things. The very first one is division of division in two halves. Okay, very division in two halves. And the very next one is merging two parts in a sorted manner. That is something like this. Merge two halves in sorted manner. So we need to do this. Now, we need to implement the same thing for the doubly linked list. Now, I would remove all of this because now you know doubly linked list and what are the things that we require. Okay, so dividing it into two halves. So, dividing it into two halves is easy. But detection of the middle is difficult. Why? Because if we are given an array, then the left plus right divided by two would give you the middle value. But we don't have any indexing thing in the linked list. So we need to find the middle and then we need to deattach them to get two linked list. How would we find the middle? Finding the middle can be done using the here and the tortoise method. At this point, if we have not solved up the question, find the middle node of a linked list, consider solving it after this question. I would give you a brief. Now, see, the thing is, first, I would have a slow pointer and a fast pointer. The slow pointer would go one step and the fast pointer would go two step. What do I mean by this? And how this algorithm, what is the intuition of this algorithm? The intuition of this algorithm is comparatively on the easier side. Why? Because let's say I'm an athlete, Siddharth. I'm an athlete. Okay. So let's say I want to know. So let's say I start walking in a straight track. Okay, not the common ones. Common ones are circular, but let's say I started, I started running in a straight track. I want to know the middle of the track. So what I can do is, this is me, this is Siddharth, and this is let's say my girlfriend, G. My girlfriend is two times slower than me and I am two times faster than her. Okay. So now when I would reach the end, 
as she is half the speed of mine she would be here in the middle we would use the same thing here but rather than me and my girlfriend i would use the slow and the fast pointer so now this is the slow pointer this is the fast pointer in the next iteration slow pointer would come here and the fast pointer would take a jump of 2 in the next iteration slow pointer would come here and the fast pointer would take a jump of 2 again in the next iteration slow pointer would come here fast pointer would take a jump of this okay in the next iteration in the next iteration fast pointer would take a jump to the null point and the slow pointer would report to the middle fair enough we have found the middle using the slow and the fast point we would do this now let us quickly go through the code of this now let us see this code working so again we have one two and three and four and then this time five there are odd number of elements we already did this so first fast pointer would be here and the slow pointer would be here okay then we have the fast dot next yes fast dot next exist and fast dot next dot next also exist so this while loop would allow it to happen so in the next iteration the f would come here and the slow would go one step okay again then we would check if fast next is present or not then we would check fast next of next is present or not then we would move the fast two times and the slow only once now this time fast next is not present so in the first condition itself it would become a false so it won't go to the next step and we would return the slow so 3 would be returned in this function that is get mode okay this is the dry run of this the very first one is divide the array into two halves so we found out the middle of the linked list now if we have found out the middle of the linked list what would we do in this scenario now we need to divide it into two halves because i know the middle part this is just like l plus r divided by 2 contrad uh, like this is just a replacement of l plus r divided by 2 for this linked list because we don't have any indexing kind of thing so now for this we have the slow pointer like let's say the mid pointer we have the mid pointer to deattach it what we would do we need to do what we need to have this into two halves to have this into two halves this is as this is a doubly linked list we would go to the next this is let's say next so we would make next previous to null and mids next equal to null okay mid next is equals to null and this would be divided into two halves okay after finding out the middle so we just remove this and by doing this we have catered this thing now the very next one is merge two halves in the sorted manner if we have two linked list how to merge them in the sorted manner so let's say we have something like one two okay so i would say this is something like one which would point to three three would point to five and this and this is let's say two would point to four and these are the two linked list okay these are the two halves and we need to merge them okay by first finding out the middle and then cutting two links we are able to get two linked list now how to merge them at this point merging this is comparatively easy why because we have a res and now we have a point to this and this okay whichever is smaller we would take that and we would increase the pointer to the next okay again whichever is smaller we would make a new linked list and move it forward again whichever is smaller we would take that 
this one would point to this and we would move it forward again whichever is small we would take that and move it forward now this is very interesting at this point now at this point we can't really compare anything so if one of them becomes a null value then we can simply say that whatever is comprised of this we would simply consider directly this so we can say if left or right if any of them is null we can simply return the other list siddharth iska kuch khas samajh nahi aaya what do i mean see let's say we have something like this let's say we have something like this this kind of condition is present so if this kind of condition is present then we would have a pointer on this and this so first one would execute and then two and then one would execute and it would move to the next and then now two is small so two would execute like two would be added and it would move to the next at this point one of them is pointing to the null so we can directly say whatever is remaining on the other one just directly assign them and it won't be wrong this is what i meant this is a small condition that doesn't comes into understanding if you are in the very first beginning phase okay so now let's just sum up everything and then show you what is to be done so now see this first we are saying that first we would find the mid this is just a small base case that if we don't need to sort anything we would just return the other one if one of them is empty we would return the other one okay the very next one is that we would first get the mid then we would deattach two links how did we do it let's say we have 1 2 and 3 let's say something like this and this is pointing to and this is the middle element let's say this is the mid this is the mid so what we really do is left is equals to head so left becomes head right is equals to mid next right is equals to mid next and then what we do what we do see it carefully okay so see right is equal to mid's next and then mid's next is equals to null value so mid next i would simply remove of this and then right's previous right's previous see how we deleted this segment okay now if you observe this is a different list this is a different list then we would pass them recursively till they both become single element after that we start merging them now let us see the code for the merge now let us see the code for the merge so let's say here i have 1 3 and 5 and here i have 2 and 4 i have 2 and 4 now the very first one is if and this is equal to the left and this is equal to the right now what would happen see this with care and there is a rest thing that is there okay so now see if left dot data is less than right dot data true okay then rest and current is equals to left so this would become 1 and left is equals to left next so as i told you this would become this okay now at this point right is equals to this so again the same thing would happen here so i would say current is equals to right that is this and right would move forward this is what is basically this is what is basically done okay and while we have the left and the right while they both are equal we would keep moving and this is the condition that i was talking about if there is let's say 1 3 5 and here is only 2 so after this point this would become here so if left is present we would simply return the other one if right is present we would simply return the other one and this is how we are having this now let's see all of the code and see if this is working or not 
let's hit compile and run and yes this looks fine and yes we got an ac so a code illustration was shown you because it is like if you're trying to implement merge shot over linked list then you should already know merge shot and if you already know merge shot and if you already know linked list there is a gap in your implementation skill and your intuition so that is why i explained you intuition rather than live coding like this is why i explained the code implementation not just typed it live this is the reason for this and if you like this that yes this video is complete enough even though it is long and all the concepts are covered in here itself and you don't need to go out another video and search another video cope up with distractions and all so if you are good enough then consider commenting on this video so that the reach of this video could be increased and i can have a smile on my face that's it for today this is me siddharth hazra signing off thank you everyone